Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. It's me, Dia. How are you today? I hope you're doing great, everyone. Today we're going to learn about how air pollution works, and 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 then we're going to learn about how to stop air pollution. Air pollution is a mixture of unwanted solid particles and gases in the air. Emissions from automobiles, exhaust from factories, dust, pollen. And mold spores may be suspended as particles. Some air pollutants are poisonous. Inhaling them can lead to several health issues. People with heart or lung diseases, senior citizens, and children are at greater risk from air pollution. Air pollution isn't just outside. The air that you inhale inside the buildings can also be polluted and affect your health. Burning fossil fuels releases poisonous gases and chemicals into the air. Carbon dioxide and methane raises the Earth's temperature and are responsible for climatic change. Smoke and soot are the two most prevalent types of air pollution. Smoke occurs when emissions from burning fossil fuels react with sunlight. Soot is made up of tiny particles of chemicals. Smoke, dust. Or allergens in the form of gas and solids that are carried in the air and travel long distances. The sources of smog and soot are similar. Both come from vehicle emissions, factories, power plants, or anything that combusts fossil fuels such as coal, gas, or natural gas. The tiny particles in soot is very dangerous because they can penetrate the lungs. And bloodstream and worsen the bronchitis, lead to heart attacks and even death. Smog can irritate the eyes and throat, and also damage the lungs, especially children and senior citizens. It's even worse for people who have asthma or allergies and other respiratory problems. Benzene can cause eye, skin, and lung irritation in the short term, and blood disorders in the long term. Lead and mercury are few of the most hazardous pollutants, especially in the air. Lead in small amounts can affect children's IQ and their ability to learn. Large amounts of lead can damage children's brains and kidneys. Mercury affects the central nervous system. The less gasoline we burn, the more we are helping ourselves and the environment by reducing the air pollution. And harmful effects on climate change. Whenever possible, you can walk, ride a bicycle, or take public transport. Choose cars that are fuel efficient, or choose an electric car. You can grow some air purifying plants inside your living space to purify indoor air naturally. Minimize or avoid the use of plastics, and do not burn plastics. Dispose of plastics in a proper way. Thousands of sea animals are dying every day because of the plastic waste in the oceans. So, guys, what do you think we should do? If you want to live, then let us go green and save our. Thank you, everyone, and bye. Have a nice day. See you again. Thanks for watching DS Fun Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Why not subscribe right here, right now? Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours. Yeah.